Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Nerd. I'm Ron McKenzie Lafurgy. Well, you guys wanted more versions of Deadpool, and thanks to Marvel's love of alternate worlds, I have a bunch more to talk about. So let's jump right into it. Let me know in the comments which version on this list you think would win in a fight. Now get your brown pants on, because here are the top 10 alternate versions of Deadpool Part 2. Number 10, Wadey Wilson. Wadey Wilson was the Deadpool of Earth 1610. He was a sergeant with enhanced healing abilities and superhuman strength. And his face is terrifying, even worse than the normal Deadpool. He has no skin and is even missing parts of his skull, revealing his brain, which is intense. In this world, he's a human supremacist hired by the Genosian government to hunt mutants for sport. On live television, he's eventually caught and exploded by Kitty Pride, but manages to survive thanks to his healing factor. His face alone is pretty sick, but the reality TV aspect is kind of wicked. Number 9, Deadpool the Duck. Deadpool the Duck is, of course, a combination of Deadpool and the ultra powerful Howard the Duck. He was hired by the evil Deadpool Corps to help to kill our Deadpool, teaming up with Deadpool Dinosaur and D-E-A-D-P-O-O-L. Did they succeed? Nah. But they were three of the most ridiculous versions of Deadpool all in one strange comic, which was pretty awesome. If you want to learn more about those other Deadpools I mentioned, Check out part one. Number eight, Death Wish. This one's a bit of a cheat because he isn't technically actually a version of Deadpool, but since he was thought to be for so long and he's such an interesting character, I gotta include him. Death Wish looks like Deadpool, but with a green outfit. Deadpool and Death Wish became fast friends due to their similar attitudes and personalities, becoming one of the best, if short-lived, bromances ever. Deadpool figured Death Wish was an alternate version of himself, but when Death Wish was killed by Death Mask, it was revealed that he was actually an alternate version of Doctor Doom, who apparently went off the rails when the Fantastic Four disbanded, which is pretty damn neat. Number seven, Death Mask. Speaking of Death Mask, this version of Wade Wilson from Earth 11638 had a change of heart after Reed Richards removed his lethal brain tumor. He became a super genius and created a criminal organization, wearing armor and cloaks similar to those of Doctor Doom, but you know, red. So in this universe, Wade Wilson and Victor Von Doom basically switched outcomes, and it's a pretty interesting story. I still prefer the original versions, but I always love when they change it up a bit. Number six, Deadpool Pulp. In this version, Wade Wilson is an insane Canadian who works for the CIA. Normally having one voice in his head, this version gains a second voice, third if you count himself, after being tortured in the Fukuoka prisoner of war camp. He takes on the Deadpool persona to separate himself from his experiences in the camp, having been tortured mercilessly and only escaping by biting off his own thumbs. It's actually a really entertaining series, and it's one of the few alternate versions where I actually prefer the origin story to that of OG Deadpool. Plus, the back and forth between the voices in his head makes it that much more enjoyable. Number five, Dogpool. Dogpool is a version of Deadpool from Earth 103173, who was used for the testing of a special cosmetic product called Mascara X, which would supposedly allow a woman's mascara to regenerate. Yeah, that's the kind of logic you'd expect from a Deadpool comic. Anyway, it doesn't work, and the researchers leave Dogpool for dead, but he comes back to life with regenerative abilities similar to Deadpool's. He later joins the Deadpool Corps and was a super popular version of Deadpool among fans for obvious reasons. He's a cute dog. Well, cute might be too kind. He's actually pretty messed up looking. But still awesome. Number four, Panda Pool. Yep, another animal Deadpool. This Deadpool of Earth TRN312 was an anthropomorphic giant panda. The Panda Pool became a fan favorite, mixing the classic Deadpool comedy with the classic panda adorableness. He joined Deadpool on the good Deadpool Corps for many missions, actually one of the longest running members of the Corps. Sadly, he was defeated in battle, but he left a lasting impression on fans everywhere. Panda Pool is no mere panda. He's the species that endangers you. I didn't make that up, that's from the comics. Number three, Dreadpool. Dreadpool is one of, if not the most villainous of the pools, having assembled and led the evil Deadpool Corps. This Deadpool of Earth 12101 was brought to Dr. Benjamin Brighton to cure his insanity. But instead of curing it, his treatment ended up destroying his inner voices, replacing them with one voice that only wanted to kill things since it saw the entire universe as a lie. Dreadpool killed the doctor and everyone in the asylum. Then he went on a hero killing spree, slaughtering the entire Fantastic Four and many Avengers. Then he went on to assemble a team to kill the other alternate versions of himself including our own Deadpool of Earth 616, and the battle was epic. He was eventually convinced of the error of his ways and killed by OG Deadpool while the other pools laid dead. Now, I don't swear often on this channel, but Dreadpool is one bad mother. It's just 
No other way to say it. Number two, Gwenpool. Gwenpool is a really different character because she isn't Wade Wilson or even truly an alternate Deadpool. Kind of just a coincidence. In her world, superheroes only exist in comic books. So when she's transported to the world where superheroes are real, she assumes she's inside a comic book or fictional world, which as it turns out she is. For this reason, she doesn't really care about any damage or death she causes since everyone's just fictional anyway. This leads her to have a similar devil may care attitude to Wade's and even goes on similar adventures and breaks the fourth wall in the same way. With her patented plot armor allowing her to survive situations that she really shouldn't, Gwenpool is a really funny and popular version of Deadpool. Number one, Deadpool, Barry Deadpool. That was awful. Uh, this version of Wade was seen in a dream of our Deadpool where he was basically James Bond, tuxedo and all. We didn't see a heck of a lot of it since it was just a short vision of a dream, but this one small glimpse made me realize that I absolutely want the new James Bond to be Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. Sure, Idris Elba would be sick, but I want me some Bond pool. It, it could go back to its comedy roots with Casino Royale. Plus, it came with an educational moment. Deadpool says, the English in their man Manners, eh? And his inner voice says, Connery was Scottish, Dalton was Welsh, Lazenby was Australian, Brosnan was Irish. Eh, stop looking things up on IMDb. Seriously, I need a Bond pool movie right now. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please smack that like button and subscribe to Top 10 Nerd for more videos. It really helps us out a lot, and we really appreciate all the support from you guys. It's been quite a roller coaster, and it's so humbling to see you guys both here and on my personal channel. Uh, don't forget to let me know which of these pools you think would win in a fight in the comments down below. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie LaFergie with Top 10 Nerd. Later, nerds.